It seems that there has been a never-ending series of studies aimed at identifying whether acetylcysteine prevents contrast-induced acute kidney injury. Now in circulation, researchers report on the results of the ACT ACT trial, which randomly assigned more than 2,000 patients with at least one risk factor for contrast-induced acute kidney injury to acetylcysteine or placebo. The incidence of contrast-induced acute kidney injury was 13% in the acetylcysteine group and the exact same 13% in the control group. A combined endpoint of mortality or need for dialysis at 30 days was also similar in both groups at 2% in each group. Not only that, but consistent effects were observed in all subgroups analyzed, including patients with renal impairment. We can now say with authority that acetylcysteine does not reduce the risk of contrast-induced acute kidney injury or other clinically relevant outcomes in at-risk patients undergoing coronary and peripheral vascular angiography. Let's finally leave acetylcysteine behind. It tastes bad, patients hate it, and it does not work. I'm Peter Block, and this is a Cardiosource Heart Minute.